Hello everyone, welcome to physics class. Uh, last meeting, uh, last week, we've learned about measurement. We've learned about physics phenomena. Okay. Uh, last meeting, I asked you to uh, discuss on LMS. Uh, you need to write a physics phenomena. For example, um, my students uh, write about uh, how a rainbow form. So a scientist need to do research. A scientist need to do measurement. They need to research and they need to calculate the data. But before it, they need to uh, collecting the data. So for today, I will explain about measurement. What, what is measurement? As you can see here, a scientist using a tool, using a tool for measuring something. In physics, we, we need um, quantity, we need something to measure. We call this as quantity, physical quantity. For measuring it, we also need uh, an exact data with a standardized unit. For example, if we want to say that the length of your book is 10 cm, it means that 10 is the value with the unit of centimeter. Okay, so uh, actually we need a quantity with exact unit, with standardized unit. Now let's check. From this diagram, from this picture, you can see that uh, someone, a scientist, for example, a scientist, is uh, using a tool for measuring the mass of pumpkin. And here, the measurement uh, data. This is the data that he got from a uh, measurement. For example, the mass of pumpkin is 4 kilogram. Kilogram is the unit, where the mass is the quantity. In physics, we classify a unit into a base unit, international system unit, and um, metric unit. Okay. For SI base unit, we know there are seven base quantity, seven base quantity with base unit. Um, I'm pretty sure you already know about length with the unit in meter and mass in kilogram and etc but of course you already know about kilogram and gram we can use the units for mass or centimeter and kilometer in length let's check for the symbol for example class uh, pay attention on the symbol you need to identify each symbol and please uh, make a differentiate symbol uh, of quantity and symbol of best unit. Okay. For example, here, length. The symbol of length, we can use L, H, R, even X. But for the unit, we, we use the unit of weight meter, so we can use symbol of M. For a verify unit, we can combine we can combine two or more basic unit and we can call it as verify unit. For example, area we can use two length. Length times length with meter times meter is equal meter square here. Okay. For measuring something, of course, a scientist needs apparatus. Scientists need a tool. I already prepared some apparatus here for measuring something. So let's check. Could you mention the name of this apparatus? Okay, good. This is ruler. This one? How about this one? What type? What type of quantity that can measure by this apparatus we call this as vermeer caliper it it can measure length oh, and also this apparatus we call this as micrometer screw we, we can measure length also for this one this is an apparatus for measuring electric current we call this as ammeter 
the biggest one this is an apparatus for measuring mass we call this as a house balance but if you don't want to use a manual uh, apparatus you can use a digital one this is a digital uh, balance another uh, apparatus you can use this a graduated cylinder for measuring something in milliliter something in milliliter this is the quantity of uh, unit of milliliter is volume good this one also we can use uh, for measuring the volume of uh, water of liquid okay. and the last one I think this is the most popular um, apparatus equipment uh, you can see the uh, this apparatus um, everywhere like uh, when you want to enter a, room, uh, a building right now for preventing um, someone with symptom of uh, COVID-19 uh, we need to check the temperature we call this as thermometer okay how to find how to uh, get the accurate measurement for, me, uh, for scientists when they measure something when they measure for example when they want to measure uh, volume of liquid inside of a graduated cylinder they need an accurate uh, procedure here here a case here a, a usual case when you want to collecting the data of course you need to see you need to take a reading from the apparatus here as you can see this is a meniscus this is a meniscus and you need to read it at the bottom of the meniscus for make uh, for collect uh, the exact data for uh, avoid the parallax error okay another example okay i'm pretty sure you already know how to read uh, the data from a ruler you need an exact position a correct position for uh, for uh, for collecting the data you need the exact position here as you can see here you need uh, right at the point 4.8 here 4.8 centimeter so you need to uh, put uh, your eyes here you need to observe right at uh, perpendicular uh, angle if you uh, see from this side or this side you will gain an act inaccurate data you you can uh, get the parallax error here okay plus this is um actually this is our minute uh, our uh, most important part today you need to convert the unit what you need to converting unit what many of converting converting it means change change the value change the unit of a quantity with different unit for example this one how to convert convert it means change change uh, the the unit of a quantity like for example this one if you want to change millimeter into decimeter I'm pretty sure again this uh, conversion of length you already got it from uh, your previous grade from elementary school in mathematics why we need converting unit because sometimes in physics we no, uh, we not only use one unit for express uh, for expressing uh, quantity for example we can change length the distance from kilometer to meter okay class in physics it's required to converting unit why we need sometimes we need uh, use a different unit for express a quantity for example if you want to express the length of this paper in centimeter you uh, and you have a data in decimeter or in millimeter you can change it you can change uh, the unit we call this as conversion you uh, conversion of unit but this is actually i'm pretty sure you already know about this 
conversion of length this table since this is mathematically this, this is the math, uh, mathematical process if we want to change from kilometer to hectometer here you need to multiply it by 10 and vice versa for example if you want to change from millimeter to centimeter you need to divide it by 10 okay good for example if you want to convert 2 millimeter into decameter what you need to do from millimeter from millimeter to decameter you need to divide it by 10 the power of 4 or 0 0.0001 thus you can find 2 millimeter equal to 0 0.0002 decameter another example this is the uh, most common uh, quantity that we are going to convert in physics mass table for mass conversion we need to divide it also we need to divide it by 10 and or uh, vice versa multiply it by 10 okay another example could you convert 5 grams into milligram okay here the answer we know that 1 gram equal to 100 uh, sorry sorry we know 1 kilogram equal to 100 um sorry this is 1 gram equal to 100 milligram that's why we need to multiply it since we need to change 5 gram into milligram so we need to multiply it by 100 5 multiplied by 100 it's equal to oh sorry uh, 1000 5 uh, multiplied by 1 uh, 1000 it's equal to 5000 milligram okay later on i will uh, explain about prefix and how to change this number into something with different uh, with same value but different uh, type okay and this is the last um, slide this is uh, could you change could you uh, identify how we solve this problem how we change for example an object is accelerate until its speed uh, reach uh, 36 km per hour how we can change this value with unit kilometer per hour into meter per second actually meter per second is unit in uh, international system okay uh, this is the example how to change this value 36 kilometer per hour into meter per second as you can see here we have two uh, different quantity kilometer per hour is the unit for which quantity length hour for the uh, hour is unit for time so we need change from kilometer into meter and one hour into second how to convert kilometer to meter we need to multiply it by 1000 while one hour to second we need to change it from one hour to second one hour equal to 3600 good you can eliminate uh, zero zero and it will only left one one multiply by 10 multiply by 10 equal to 10 10 meter per one second so we can deduce that 36 kilometer per hour it's equal to 10 meter per second okay okay class i think that's all for uh, this week uh, see you next week with different uh, subtopic wabillahi topik wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh